spoiler alert, we will be talking about the endings of various Mario games. If you would like to keep that a surprise, then don't watch this. <laughs> or pretend what we're saying is lying. <laughs> <laughs> live in denial. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, don't listen, or listen and live in denial. It's up to you. It's your choice, really. Welcome to Conversations. Uh, I'm Jesse. With me today is Frankie. And I'm Frankie. With me today is Jesse. <laughs> today, we will be talking about Mario. Just want to jump into about Mario? <laughs> well, let's start off by talking about uh, what our favorite Mario games are. Like, what's your number one Best Mario, Mario game? game, in your opinion? Super Mario... World? The one for the Super NES? Super yeah, Mario Super Mario World. That's the best one. Which it, no, it seems like nothing has lived up to that one. Or nothing has been as long or felt as Mario 3D Land, I thought would be more like it. But just the fact that the maps were linear, it was long, mm. but I just like, I don't like the linear maps. Linear maps. And there's not more than one way out of each ghost house. The, best, the coolest thing about Super Mario World was that if you accidentally figured out some secret door, it would lead to open a whole other path of levels. There was the star levels, where you get all mm. the Yoshis. It just seems like nothing else has branched off like that since then. Uh, su- New Super Mario Brothers U has the big world like Mario World, but I haven't played it, so I don't know if there's secret <laughs> stuff. Yeah, I like. and then after a while you realize, oh, if the dot is red, that means there's another way out. They don't tell you that in the book, but mm-hmm. after a while you notice that. You figure it yeah, out, and yeah. it's in front of every ghost house, and it's in front of... Oh, and I missed that. I missed the, the fact that it branched out. The fact that it got complicated and the map was complicated, not just one through eight, world one through eight, world one through Because it seemed like, uh, you know, one was one through eight, if, mm. you know, and then two was linear also, I guess. And then three yeah. kind of opened it up and made it bigger. And then, war- and then world came out, and then everything went back to the linearness. Mario 64 was all in the castle. Yeah, that one was kind of cool. It was all around the little land. That one was kind of neat. The, the, the whole idea of the hub world yeah. was... Not just a, it was a lot smaller than the than a giant Mario for, coming across the land. Because <laughs> that's what I, I mean. If you look at the if you look at those lands, he's as big as the land. Mario Land or, or Mario Three, he's huge, and he's just his icon goes across the world, <laughs> right? I think it's just it's kind of like Indiana Jones map. Yeah. Oh yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah totally. Like it. It's just a representation. Yeah. Or he's huge. <laughs> hey, he's hey, been huge. Yeah. Mario can grow and shrink at will <laughs> with the aid of uh, certain uh, vegetables. All right, even though you just kind of ragged on it a little bit, I gotta say my favorite Mario game is probably Mario 3D Land. 3D Land? I know oh. it's weird because it's not. It's relatively new. It came out this year, I think. I think so. At the beginning of the year, man. It seems... Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I just I really like like Mario World was like my last favorite side-scrolling Mario game. I never okay. really liked the new Super Mario Bros. game too much. Do you didn't like Mario 64? Of the side-scrolling games. Oh, you don't like any more of the side-scrolling games? And then, okay, yeah, yeah. They, they don't progress, yeah. it seems like. And then the 3D games, like, N64 was, like, my first real console. I had, this, I had the Genesis before, but that was a hand-me-down. And then <laughs> right, I, got, right. I got the N64, like, in its last year. <laughs> uh, oh, so you didn't have Super Nintendo? I never had Super Nintendo. I played it at, like, friends' houses or, like, daycare. Or my house, probably. Or your house, <laughs> probably. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> what games did you have? Vector Man? <sighs> no, I had... It's a Formula One racing game, Street Fighter Two, I think Championship Edition. Oh, so you had a very limited amount of games. And like, and Sonic the Hedgehog Two. Oh, yeah, those are kind of random. Yeah. Games. <laughs> and then you just went right to the. They were N64? all. They were all my brother's games when he left to go to college. Oh, so he left it. To he you. just left it to me. Yeah. And he only had those games. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> what a what a uh, odd collection of very. I mean, he's like, I like these games only. Yeah. These are them. <laughs> Even weirder, he used to have an NES at his mom's house. Uh, but he, like he sold it, but he kept a lot of his games, and he left those to me too. And he had a golden Legend of Zelda. Oh, that's why cartridge. That's why I couldn't give it away. <laughs> but like, it's not mint. It's not in the box or anything. Right. It's just a cartridge. But I have, like, like I saw that. I'm like, does he not know? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, back to Mario. The uh, right. the uh, 3DS land. I, I think it's. I, I like the levels, and I like it really. I just don't like the way it's set up. If some of those levels were secret, and some of the yeah. I, mean, I did like the play. I just got every single star. Oh, yeah? Just like yesterday. Cool. And now I'm thinking, what do I do with it? Oh. I guess go back and just keep checking to see more of those boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just some boxes. of those open up more uh, more gold coins, I realize. Yeah. Or more whatever they're called. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't think there's a limit to gold. <laughs> to, oh, oh you think it goes forever because they could. Just... But I played some of those boxes over again, and then it was a, a see through coin. Yeah. So I was thinking, wait, what? I don't, yeah. I, I, so I don't really get how that works. It's confusing. But I, I just like, because I love Mario as a whole. You know, mm-hmm. I really like Mario World. I really liked uh, 64 and Galaxy. I even liked Sunshine. 
A lot of people I like Sunshine. A lot of people didn't like because it, it was too different, but I think it's good when Mario changes think, it up. I just think the Delfinos looked weird. I wish that they had looked not... The art style was just kind of phoned in or something. It was weird. Yeah. I'll give you that. But I mean, Yoshi's look so much cooler and cute and like they spent time drawing that and Delfino's like, I don't know, oval? <laughs> or like uh, some arch? You know what a bell curve looks like? Just put that in. <laughs> well, yeah. So, but I never felt like there was a unified Mario theory. Mario 3D Land combines 2D and 3D elements from various mm-hmm. Mario games and it's kind of like a nostalgia bomb to me. Just like an overall combination of everything from the series. Because, it, I mean, it's the levels are laid out linear, like the original. Yeah. But they all have a little, uh, when, as you go past them, they have a little box of what it will look like, like a, a preview yeah. level, which is kind of, what is that like? That's like Galaxy. Galaxy. Yeah, 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 it's kind of like Galaxy. Well, it's made by the people who make Galaxy. Mario Land is? Oh, yeah. Mario 3D Land? I didn't know, didn't know that. I mean, it plays... I it, like Mario Galaxy. Yeah. I mean, it plays like Galaxy, it plays like 64, it plays a little bit like the old side-scrollers. Yeah, and I mean, and after, you get, after you beat the whole game, did you beat the, the, the first part? Yeah. And then they have the special worlds. Yeah. Those are insane. those are hard. I didn't. Man. I didn't awesome. expect that. Yeah, I was like, oh, I'm I'm done with all the levels. You know, I tell Roman bought it. Yeah. Our cousin Roman bought it, and uh, I, he was like, I'm, I'm almost done with it. I, I feel like it was way too short. And I was like, don't worry. <laughs> and he went, really? There's a whole other one. And I was like, yeah, don't worry. It's gonna you're gonna get all those levels, but harder. And there's more. Uh, like every, every mechanic is harder. But uh, yeah, I just remember thinking, yeah, don't worry. So yeah, that one's definitely lengthy. I just kind of wished it looked. Hard. It looked, more like Mario World. Yeah, yeah. That's what I. I keep wishing that in every game, and then and instead it gets more linear. I think it seems like. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's probably easier for the developers and easier for new gamers. Right. It's just a presentation thing, but I don't know. I just really liked it. I really liked that. You know, exploration. Feature. Yeah, yeah. The exploration feature was also in the hub world. Yeah. It was also in like, oh, cool! I can go off and open up new things. Yeah. And the Yoshi mechanic was cool in that. Yes. In Mario. Just I mean, that, like there was five and. And they each did different things if you ate different... Uh... I think World did Yoshi's probably better than any Mario game other than Yoshi's Island. I don't even think they were as, as cool in Yoshi's Island. They just kind of added the... Hum! One of the reasons why I jumped onto that, I got the 3DS before the Ambassador thing happened, or, or I got it when the Ambassador thing happened, I got an old one, because mm-hmm. I wanted Yoshi's Island. Mm-hmm. I wanted to play that. That was actually... I was like, I know i got to pay, like, I don't know, what is it, 50 bucks more? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or, like, 75 bucks more? I just paid that much for this... For that, because I really wanted that game. You get, you get a bunch of other games too, but I barely play those. Right. I play. But, oh, and then one of the reasons why I like the Yoshi one is because Yoshi's Island, or what is it, Mario Mario World Two, Yoshi's Island. Yeah. That I liked it because it was long. That it one was seemed long, long too, yeah. and the hidden there's like five hidden coins or whatever. I don't think I ever beat coins. it. <laughs> I think I beat it by an eight hundred percent every level. Mm. Yeah. At the end, uh, uh, do you know what happens at the end of that one? No. You see, you meet Baby Luigi. They take you home, and then you're at your parents' house with, with Baby Luigi. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, there you were. Oh, hi. Awkward Mafia. Hello. That was a good episode. Pretty good. The first episode. Yeah. Will we do better? Find out. Uh, subscribe, like, comment. You can actually subscribe because we don't know when the next one's going to come out. No. So subscribe and it'll tell you when it comes it's out. Pretty erratic. We, yeah. We're not really consistent. Oh, no, 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 yeah. You could tell by our conversation. <laughs> it's hard to stay on topic. Um, so I guess you could uh, watch that one again if you push replay. Replay, right? <laughs> okay. It's not up yet. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. And uh, Or you could check out any of our other Awkward Mafia videos. Right? Where? Uh, where? Yeah. <laughs> All around. <laughs> Click All around right. is like God. Uh, or uh, check out my uh, Hard to Think podcast. I'm going to say the link is here. Sure. Here. I'll right put there. it there. Okay, yeah. cool. Just <laughs> big. Uh, and that podcast is uh, also scripted, or is more scripted than what we just saw. <laughs> yep. So, um... We're just going to sit here until the video's over. Oh, all right. You mean when it goes to black? Yeah. And it'll, it'll cut out eventually. What happens to us when it goes to black? We cease to exist. Oh, please watch it again.